kids love chicken nuggets. Everybody knows that. So I say, if you can't beat them, at least make a healthy version of it. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna make real chicken nuggets. So the kind of chicken that I use is chicken thighs. You can get boneless, skinless chicken thighs. That's what they look like when they come from the butcher. And it's not too fatty, but it's dark meat, so it's not too dry like breast, and it comes out quite nicely. And what you have to do is cut them into approximately the size of a chicken nugget. Something like this is a good size for a chicken nugget. It doesn't matter if some of them are smaller or some of them are bigger, because in general, if you tell them they're chicken nuggets and you present them in a nice way, they won't mind if they don't look exactly like the thing that comes from McDonald's or a place like that. So we're just gonna keep cutting these up. Okay, so there are my chicken nuggets. I'm just gonna wash my hands because I've been touching chicken. I'm gonna refrigerate the part that I'm not using because you don't wanna leave chicken sitting out for a long time. And then we're gonna basically bread these chicken nuggets. Now, I have, my four-year-old can't have any gluten or any wheat, so I'm gonna use a gluten-free flour, but you can just as easily use regular wheat flour. That's gonna be our step one. And then we're gonna take some breadcrumbs, and I use gluten-free panko breadcrumbs, but if you can get regular panko crumbs, it's great. And you can actually do this with fish as well. You don't need to use chicken. Anything that you want breaded and crispy on the outside, this is a great pattern. In the middle go the eggs. And then we're gonna take these little pieces and we're gonna go flour, egg, breadcrumbs. Flour, egg, and breadcrumbs. And that is how you get that golden crispy looking thing that they love to eat. So we're getting ready to fry our chicken nuggets, our real chicken nuggets. And this is so easy. All you have to do is pour a little bit of olive oil onto your pan, and you just wanna kind of coat the bottom of the pan. It's not deep frying, so we don't want it to be soaking in olive oil. There, now my pan is getting coated. Okay, I think my oil is hot enough now, so I'm gonna transfer my chicken nuggets onto this nice, preheated pan. Yep, you can hear it start to sizzle, so that's a good sign. The only other thing we have to do is to put some salt on this. So I'm just gonna take my salt shaker and add a bit of flavor, and we'll do that on the other side as well. And now we just wait. If you see that there are bits of your pan that are getting dry, you can just drop a little bit more oil on there. And then we just have to make sure that the chicken is cooked all the way through because you don't want to feed raw chicken to a child. And then hopefully you'll get some nice golden brown nuggets that your kids will want to eat. Okay, I can smell these guys cooking. So I'm gonna start to flip them. There we go. And you can see they've got a nice crispy shell on the outside. That actually makes my mouth water. And the thing is, if you're gonna serve this to your child for dinner, you probably give them one or two. You don't wanna give them a huge amount of meat, but if you serve them this with a nice side of vegetables and maybe some kind of either potato or pasta or rice or something on the side, you have a balanced meal and they'll really love it. So I'm gonna put a bit of salt on this side. Again, not too much, because it's for young children but there's a little bit of salt on there for flavor. And then we just let it cook on the other side until the chicken gets cooked all the way through. We want chicken nugget. <laughs> what do you want? Chicken nugget. Huh? Chicken nugget. I didn't hear you. I like chicken nugget. It's delicious. 